Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And today I'm going to go over how to program the different fire zone types on your GEMC or Firewolf control panel. The panel has the capability of four different types of zones. Conventional two-wire fire, conventional non-powered devices such as heat detectors and mechanical pull stations on the GEMC EZM8, also wireless devices, and finally SLC. So to start, we're going to go with our two-wire fire devices. We're going to go to System Assignment, System Options, and Enable the FIM module. This is automatically going to populate on Zones 1 through 8 and cannot be moved. Next, we're going to move on to our GEMC EZM8, where we go back to System Assignment, EZM Assignment. Pick the zone bank that you need. To set this for 8-zone fire, automatically it's going to populate Zones 9 through 16. Next, moving on to wireless and SLC, we would go back to system assignment, go to the RF receiver slash SLC section. The GEMC has a capability of four wireless receivers or two SLC cards. So for this application on the GEMC 255, we're going to have two fire cards and two fire wireless receivers. Doing wireless devices is pretty simple. You're just going to type in the RFID as it appears on your device. Next, moving on to SLC, we're going to click on where it says RF SLC point. We would pick the point number, which is fire SLC. We would pick the device type. In this case, we'll make this a heat detector. We would set the SLC address based on what card you have on your system, one, two, or both. This is where you would set the device address that has already been programmed into the SLC device. The device point is going to remain one on all of our devices except a couple. And this is for the heat detector where we can set the temperature 135 or 150. Next, moving on to the smoke detector. We have fire SLC. We drop it down. Pick fire SLC smoke. Again, our receiver address, one or two. The device address that's been programmed into the smoke head. And we could set our obstruction based on our needs. Next, moving on to an EZM2. This is a two-point conventional non-powered the fire device input module that goes on the SLC. So we would pick GEMC EZM2, make this, let's say, all on SLC number two. The device address is going to be 20, and the point's going to remain one for the first zone. Remember, this is one SLC address for two points. Now, the next consecutive zone, we must program the second point. So we're going to set it as an EZM2. We put this on SLC2. The device address is going to remain 20 but the point number is going to change to 2. Next, we'll go on to program a pull station. An EZM1 single input module. And finally, a conventional zone module, which is used to connect two wire smoke detectors to the SLC. And you would pick reset or not reset based on if you have resettable or non-resettable power wired to the module. Next, we move on to programming our zone types. Every zone on the GEMC in Area 1 is automatically going to be a fire type zone. There's no selection for fire. The only options you have would be to make that zone something different, such as a carbon monoxide detector, a supervisory for a gate valve, or a monitor zone, which is a trouble point. Now, just to review, we went over how to program the different zone types, conventional, wireless, and SLC, and the different zone attributes on our GEMC or Firewolf series control panel. And as always, for more information, visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching today.